What's going on guys? I am with the Moose and today I'm giving you an X Factor Pack bundle opening. I asked for 150 likes on my video yesterday and you guys surpassed that by I think like 20 or 30. Got almost 200 likes on the video. Thank you for that and we're going to open the X Factor Pack bundle in this video right here. But first, definitely want to uh, you know alert you guys to my video that I posted earlier about ranked draft champions. Check that out. It's really, really cool. New kind of you know spin off to draft champions that they put in that's going to give you stat tracking, going to give you an ability to talk uh, trash with your friends and whatnot. Going to be very, very cool. And I also did a full draft in that as well. That was actually not too bad. Started off kind of shaky and then I got some great picks later on. So let's see what we're going to get in this X Factor pack bundle. Going to open this up to remind you the topper is one team of the week player from this week and two team of the week players from any other week. So going to get three players total in the topper. And then, you know, X Factor packs are just crazy in general. They give you a guaranteed elite badge, 12 gold or better players and three silver or better players as well. So we'll see what we're going to get. Des Bryant's on the cover, so it's got to be good, right? Um, we'll see about that, though. Team of the Week, Topper Pack. We'll go for that first just because it's not that crazy. Uh, but hopefully we can get one of the Elites from this week. That would be pretty nice. Got a Bakari Rambo. He is not an Elite from this week. Bradley Roby and a Marcus Peters. So they're all Golds. Kind of figured that would happen. Um, I kind of want to see what weeks the, uh, these guys all are. Uh, week 2 for Marcus Peters. That's going to be rough. Um, really don't want the old guys. That's kind of you know tough. And Bradley Roby, week three, so that's kind of not the best. I would rather have the more recent ones because they're more likely to sell. Bakari Ambo, like I said, was this week, but he's probably not going to be that much just because of this bundle. Uh, we'll probably depress the price of those a little bit. But hey, no big deal. Toppers usually aren't the best. Right away, though, we're getting an elite Brandon Brooks. Nice way to start off the X Factor packs. Next card up, Danny Lansana, Roddy White, Eric Walden, oh my goodness, Bakari Rambo right there. We do get a Lorenzo Malden, or however you say that guy's name. That's kind of cool. Football Outsider didn't even know this was an item. Uh, in Week 9, he had two sacks and four QB hits. So that's pretty good. Is this Bakari Rambo in the Bills of, uh, Elite set? No, he's not, unfortunately, but still going to be pretty rare. So I'm not too bad about that. Let's see if we can clutch out any more Elites to get one to start it off. Got a Tank Carity in there. Jari Evans at 75 overall. He was an elite last year, I think, or at least a high gold. Do get the elite badge and an Ahmad Bradshaw. So that will do it for this X Factor pack. Nothing crazy. Brandon Brooks probably sell for like 15k, maybe 10k. Elite badge will be a solid amount, but overall nothing too high to speak of there. So hopefully the last two can give us something really, really good. Do get a Melvin Gordon right there. Elite badge kind of scare me with that. Got a Kenneth Acker. I'll take the road to the playoffs, although it doesn't matter too much. Derek Carrier, not too bad. Also get a Michael Burton. These road to the playoffs, I'm, t I'm, I'm happy about him. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Derek Carrier, I remember last year. Yeah, he's pretty tall. Got good speed. 6'4", 89 speed. Definitely a solid budget option at tight end if you need one. And then this Michael Burton. I kind of wonder if he's a specific card in that uh, Lions MVP set. He actually might be. And if he is, then he's going to go for a good amount of... We do get a Brian Walters. We've got a Wesley Woodyard right here. Is he in the Titans set? I don't think he is either. Unfortunately, he's not in the Titans uh, Elite set or whatever it's called. So I'm not going to go for a ton, but I'll still take it. Eric Wood right there. Not getting any Elites, though. Benny Logan, Jerry Mincy from the Cowboys. Oh, my goodness. No Elites at all. Got some decent pulls, though. Like I said, I think, what, four out of the playoffs pulls? That's not too bad. But overall, I want some Elites. I want that... Uh, you know, who, who was the 48 hour t uh, this week? I'm trying to remember his name. Oh my goodness. I can't remember. Oh, Rashad Jones. That's who it is. Rashad Jones from the Dolphins. That would be very nice to see. Oh my god. This is no bueno right now. Jeremiah Ralph got the elite badge. Always scaring me. Darian Stewart, William Moore. Come on, give me some elites. I only got one so far, and it was the first card I even saw. Give me something else. Corey Lichtensteiger, Nick Foles, who just got benched, I think. Uh, Levine Tololo and the last card is going to be a Jaron Johnson is he in a set that's the only way that's gonna help me out not quite not in the elite set which is what we want him in so that bundle was not the best if I do say so myself but I'll take the three elite badges not too bad and like I mentioned in my video yesterday guys make sure if you if you needed to do any sets like the MVP sets or maybe you still need to do elite sets whatever set you might want to do that has an elite badge in it today and the next day uh, are the days to get it because people are going to be opening these x-factor packs and they're going to be a lot cheaper than they were uh, me personally i'm just going to hold on to these elite badges until they rise up in price a little bit but that's just who i am and you know what i do so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did please leave a like down below and thanks for 150 likes on yesterday's video let's see if we can do it again on this one thank you guys for watching and i'll see you later